lot of uncertainty, not much clarity. Some business owners say so far the Parker administration's plan to end the open air drug market in Kensington is setting them back, leaving them wondering what's next. Good evening, I'm Aziza Schuler. Earlier this week, well, early this week, the city is expected to divulge more details on the mayor's strategy. And our Alicia Roberts spoke with a husband and wife restaurant team who say they want a solution soon. You can't police your way out of this situation. Mariangeli Alicia and her husband, Chef Dionisio Jimenez, co-own Cantina La Martina at D Street and Kensington Avenue. They say since last month's action by the city, which included street cleaning and removal of an encampment near the Kensington and Allegheny train station, unhoused people and drug users who used to gather farther south have now been pushed outside their restaurant. When we come in in the morning, now we have to remove people that are sleeping on our doorsteps and on our door fronts. Um, it doesn't feel safe. This is video we shot Sunday afternoon, showing a group of at least a dozen people along the sidewalk across from their restaurant. You can see their colorful terrace fence in the background. We need solutions. We don't need moving people one side to the other side. We met up with Dio and Mariangeli at their Cherry Street Pier truck, something they say is necessary to supplement their income at sales at their Kensington location have dropped 60 percent since the city's efforts began in early May. Disappointment because you hear all these speeches about you're going to support the kids, you're going to support the families, you're going to support the businesses but you actually say so that otherwise. They say while they understand this crisis has been years in the making and won't be fixed overnight, they also feel like the plan to put out more police officers in the neighborhood isn't enough, and they're hoping the mayor shares more on her long-term plans with the people who call these streets home. We really feel that we gave 10 steps forward and now we're 20 steps back. We reached out to the mayor's office. No one would comment on this story. Philadelphia police say sharing our plans with community members first has always been a top priority. Alicia Roberts, CBS News, Philadelphia.